Hey, welcome to this episode of Fresh Story. We're going to go with the question and the thought that comes to mind. What do politics play in the church or what part do they play in the church? And it's, I think it's an important question because we uh, don't want to be out of balance on stuff. But let me bring you a three or four good points that I think that are important for politics in the church. And I think of the nation. We're, we're in, in America. Uh, our nation was created with great values, biblical values to have a foundation for the nation. And that's why we are who we are as Americans. Uh, we uh, take away from that uh, constitution and the values that we have, and it, it really disrupts things. So we have a great foundation. I think that, uh, as I often say, that we're the second greatest nation behind, the one behind Israel, the second greatest nation ever created because so much of the Bible is there. So much of the Bible created us uh, a foundation in our country that gives us the values that we have. And so we got to keep those things in check and keep them in order. So I think, uh, first of all, realizing how the nation was created and then looking at it and saying, okay, we need to continue on those things, on those values, and not how we want to interpret them, but how they were interpreted in the days that they were created. That's so important. Go back to the original text or the original writers. Uh, as we do in the Bible, I think so too it's important for our Constitution and the way that things were created uh, here in America. The other thing is, you know, we think about the things that we're voting on. You know, why do politics play a role in the church? And I think one of the greatest uh, things to look at is when biblical issues become a political uh, ballot or put on the political ballot. Uh, these things are a lot of things that are already settled in the courts of heaven. They've been written in the perfect pages of the Bible, but yet man wants to vote on them. Mankind wants to say, hey, well, we should live this way or we should live that way. And it is absolutely wrong. And I think a church needs to take a stand because we know what God has said and we're not going to go against God's word. I think that we need to make sure that we stand upon the word of God we stand upon what is right and what God has already settled. I'm not going to go back and change it. I think we need to go back and change. So when political leaders want to make a change in what God has already said, I think they're to be to be reminded, no, God's already spoken and this is why and we need to leave this thing alone. Another thing that comes to mind is, you know, things are happening with our children. They're being fed the lies in, in the schools and uh, I am thankful for our public school teachers, uh, but they're being put under a pressure that is, uh, they shouldn't have to be put under. They can't teach anymore the way that they feel led to teach. And a lot of our public school teachers have a heart to teach uh, children and educate them. But the things that's, that's coming down to them through the pipelines is ludicrous. You know, and all this stuff that they're being indoctrinating our children with and the public school teachers that have a right heart to teach our children are having and being forced to teach something that is not right. Uh, thinking of all the new things that they got going on in the schools today. So with, when it comes to that, I just don't want to feed our children to the lies. And that's a political thing. We got to understand where we are. We need to get involved in the, in the school districts. We need to get involved in... Uh, some of the things that are happening with our county and our city meetings, our county meetings. I think they're so important because we as Americans have a right and we understand how our country was built. We have uh, the people or the power and they're to understand that. There's not three equal uh, uh, departments in uh, government. We the people have the power and we should mandate what we want our children to learn we should mandate how we want these things to, uh, you know, our country to run. So I think it's important. And the church has to be education. You know, I think that the church, as far as bringing, talk about politics in the church, we, we have the education, we have the book, the Bible. And so we're educating our people on what is biblical and, and uh, what is not, you know, it's because we get so mixed up sometimes, like, oh, I'm gonna vote for this. Well, God, I already settled that. Why are we going to vote for that? And then last of all, keeping the main thing the main thing. I mean, that's so important. Jesus Christ, right? In the church. We can't get out of balance and be a, 
a biblical, or excuse me, a political church, and that's our marching orders. But I think it's important to educate, and we're keeping the main thing, the main thing, the main thing is Jesus Christ, and we don't want to teeter from that. We need to lift up Jesus because He's the one that can change the heart, and He's the only one that can change the heart. And so we can change all the laws we want to see change, but if the church isn't doing their due diligence and spreading the gospel and making disciples of people, then we're uh, not changing the heart of the matter. And that's our responsibility, really, first and foremost, is lift up the name of Jesus. And as we lift him up, he'll draw all men into himself. We'll see the heart of mankind change, and we'll see our nation change. So that's, uh, you know, perspective on how do politics play in the church. Uh, they, I think they play an important role, but keep the main thing the main thing. God bless you guys. Hey guys, Pastor Al here, Godward Chapel with Fresh Word. You know, oftentimes we have a question to ask, but we don't know where to go, what to do. Would I be a fool for asking it, whatever. I want to encourage you in the comments below, write your question and we will get you an answer, Lord willing. God bless you guys.